Yo, man, I'm hungry. Where can we get some breakfast? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 real movie locations that don't exist anymore. It's very hard to describe what it's like to lose this telescope. For this list, we'll be looking at real locations that have been used in popular movies that have since been demolished. Movie sets will not be included. Which of these do you find the most tragic? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10, Pan Pacific Auditorium, Xanadu. Hey, that's a place on the album cover. Slow down, I wanna get off here. Yeah. Thanks for the ride. Opened in 1935, the Pan Pacific Auditorium was long regarded as one of LA's shining architectural landmarks. Notable for its unique streamlined modern architecture and its green and white exterior, the Pan Pacific Auditorium had been used in various music videos and movies. Perhaps its most famous appearance is in the cult classic musical fantasy Xanadu. The movie opened in 1980, eight years after the Pan Pacific Auditorium had closed its doors. As a result, the building was in a considerable state of decay. Finally, on May 24, 1989, the entire building went up in flames and was completely destroyed. It is now the site of the Pan Pacific Park Recreation Center off Beverly Boulevard. Number 9. Sandys, Better Off Dead and Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back Found in North Hollywood was a restaurant called Sandys. This building was made up as various fictional fast food joints throughout the years, you see that sign out there? You wear it with pride. Put it on! In 1985, it appeared as Pig Burgers in the John Cusack comedy Better Off Dead. And in 2001, it starred as Moobies in Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. <laughs> yeah! The restaurant was found at 6223 Lankershim Boulevard, but it's now closed and abandoned. The Google Street View photo taken in January 2021 showed quite a sad sight indeed. A ruined sign, missing letters, and a plain white building that is boarded up and lifeless. Number 8. St. Paulus Lutheran Church, Vertigo While it's not a major location in the movie, St. Paulus Lutheran Church can be seen at various times throughout the classic Alfred Hitchcock thriller, Vertigo. Located in the northern section of San Francisco, this church was completed in 1894 and remained open for over a century—101 years to be precise. On November 5, 1995, the historic church burned to the ground. Following the fire, the church was forced to relocate. However, there is some good news. In 2019, it was announced that the church was returning to its former site in the form of a new commercial condominium. It's not an elegant cathedral, but it's something. Number 7. Luna Park, Speedy Known for being Harold Lloyd's last theatrical silent film, Speedy was released in the spring of 1928. In one of the movie's signature scenes, Lloyd's character travels to Coney Island and spends a fun day inside Luna Park. The grand and elegant amusement park had been in operation since 1903, and it provided carnival fun for over 40 years. But wouldn't you know it, pesky fire strikes again! A good chunk of the amusement park was destroyed in a blaze on August 13, 1944, and it never reopened. A new Luna Park eventually opened up on Surf Avenue, just to the south of its original location. That is now home to multiple high-rises. Number 6. J&M Tropical Fish, Rocky Everyone remembers the adorable little pet shop from the first Rocky. Rocky flirts with Adrian while she's working, asks her out on a date, and eventually casually shoplifts some turtle food. You got a taste of that turtle food, Rockhead. Hey, crime don't pay. You know that, boy. You know that. This was a real pet shop located at 2146 North Front Street in Philadelphia. Surprisingly, the shop remained open until 2006, when it was eventually forced to shutter its doors and board up its windows. The closed and abandoned shop is actually featured in Rocky Balboa, as Rocky visits it during a nostalgic jaunt through the old neighborhood. The site was demolished in 2017 and is now nothing but a gap between two buildings. Number 5. Schwab's Pharmacy, Sunset Boulevard It's only natural that one of Sunset Boulevard's greatest haunts appears in Sunset Boulevard. Founded in 1932, Schwab's Pharmacy was a very popular hangout for those in the movie industry. That's the way a lot of us think about Schwab's drugstore. Kind of a combination office, coffee clutch, and waiting room. Waiting. Waiting for the gravy train. 
famous gossip columnist Sidney Skolsky worked out of the pharmacy, and he would be the first journalist to use the nickname Oscar for the Academy Award. He did so in print on March 16, 1934. The exterior of the pharmacy appeared in Billy Wilder's classic noir, although the interior was recreated at Paramount Studios. The iconic Hollywood landmark finally closed in 1983 and was demolished five years later. The corner of Sunset and Crescent Heights is now a shopping complex. Number 4. Arecibo Telescope, Goldeneye You know, James, I was always better. Found in the jungles of Puerto Rico was one of the world's most famous telescopes. Known as Arecibo Telescope, it famously appeared in the climax of the classic James Bond film Goldeneye. The satellite opened just one year after the first James Bond movie in 1963 and remained under the management of Cornell University throughout most of its life. Unfortunately, various natural disasters threatened the integrity of the telescope, and it was officially decommissioned in 2020. On December 1st of that year, the structure collapsed into itself and was completely destroyed. Extensive efforts were then undertaken to dismantle what remained of the historic telescope. There's a large interest in restoring this telescope. And so even now, there's a movement to rebuild and rebuild better, because that's what we do. We, we have no business rebuilding if we don't improve on what we already made. Number three, the cab depot, taxi driver. This Martin Scorsese classic opens with Travis Bickle applying for a job at a cab depot. Want to work uptown nights, South Bronx, Harlem? I work anytime, anywhere. We work Jewish holidays? Anytime, anywhere. The office isn't seen much throughout the film, but it was indeed a real dispatch depot located in Manhattan. But it's amazing how much can change throughout the decades. This cab depot was located on West 57th Street near the West Side Highway but the area is virtually unrecognizable today. When Travis leaves the depot, viewers can spot a brick building and the old elevated highway in the background. Not only are they gone, but the surrounding area has been completely redeveloped and modernized. 70s New York really was dingy. Sick, venal. Someday a real rain will come and wash all this scum off the streets. Number two, the Sands Hotel and Casino. Ocean's Eleven. Do we have time for another show? It's kind of late, isn't it? Okay, what about the lounge at the Sands? Oh, that's a good idea. Hey, that's my lucky spot. The Sands is synonymous with the Las Vegas Strip. At least, it was. The Sands was the place to be in the 50s and 60s, hosting legendary performers like Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, and Sammy Davis Jr. The Rat Pack helped make the Sands iconic, and they shot Ocean's Eleven at the hotel. Seven years after the movie's release, The Sands was bought by famous business magnate Howard Hughes. However, all great things must pass, and time eventually came for The Sands. The old-fashioned casino couldn't compete with the shinier and fancier operations, and it was demolished on November 26, 1996. The site is now home to The Venetian. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Ambassador Hotel, Various The Rambling Ambassador Hotel, one of the world's great hostelries and a Los Angeles landmark of good living. Los Angeles is home to many hotels, but none were quite like The Ambassador. The Ambassador was a lavish and world-renowned hotel that hosted countless iconic entertainers, housed various presidents, and contained the famous Coconut Grove nightclub. It also featured in countless movies, including Forrest Gump, Catch Me If You Can, and Almost Famous. Unfortunately, the surrounding area fell into poverty throughout the 70s, and the Ambassador was slowly forgotten. It was later demolished to make room for the Robert F. Kennedy Community Schools, which was named after the politician who was famously shot in the hotel's kitchen. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.